here i am going to start a new series of fusion expression so before applying expression or use of expression first question is that why we need to use expression so for that i show you one example so here i have one gear i take one background set this as foreground and here i use one tool transform scale i scale this gear little bit down okay and after that i apply one transform tool i also create one more transform and i apply like this and create one more merge node so right now i have two gear with same thread now i am going to animate this gear so i right click over here animate on 15 number frame i apply for example 60 degree and then on 100 maybe minus 20 degree so here this gear animate like this now as you know for example if i want to animate this gear which has same thread of this gear one so for that what we do i apply animate and over here for gear one we have 60 degrees so here as you all know i apply minus 60 degree and here in gear one minus 20 degree so here we apply 20 degree so i got good animation but now see for example i select this transform one and i go to curve editor i also activate these things now if i change anything for example smooth by shift s and i am doing like this curve edit I did curve like this and all these things. So now I got little odd animation. So what I have to do? I have to apply same changes kind of on this graph, but in opposite direction, and it is really really very difficult. See. I have to do some trial and error and all these things. Then I got this result. And if I see here, yeah. so you feel that this is very simple thing to do. But when you do or when you change something in graph and you have to create same opposite kind of graph with. another property so you got little difficulty okay but as you know you everybody know the logic behind this the logic is what when this one of the gear has rotation for example 60 degree so other gear has minus 60 degree rotation so the simple fundamental is that the negative value the another gear has negative value of this gear so you know the logic and you know the mathematical equation for that if you want to do for example here i take one text node for example you have five value and you want opposite value of that so you just multiply that value with minus 1 so you get minus 5 if you have minus 10 and you multiply these things with minus 1 you get plus 10 
so this is my common logic for this kind of problem is that if you multiply the value with minus 1 you get negative value of that so here I apply expression for that and here the expressions come in picture so for example right now I remove from transform 2 now to apply expression what I am going to do I select both this transform because I need some data from this transform 1 so here in this property I just right click over here I add expression and see here you have picker tool now you just select this put over here sometime and just call this value angle so here you got transform 1 dot angle and you have to just apply one more thing is multiply this thing with minus 1 now you see you get perfect animation for that even you apply some changes over here you get same opposite direction so when you edit this curve manually you get so many problems but applying this simple expression you get very easy animation over your project so that's why we use expression okay I come with new session for expression stay connected thank you